I'm going to set up camp for the night, but I need to find somewhere that can keep me out of trouble. I'm about 30 foot up, and I think I've found just the place. It's quite a narrow ledge, but I reckon if I can clear away a bit of the sand and dig a little bit of a trench, because I want to make sure I'm not going to fall off this. It's narrow, but at least it's high and it's flat, well out of reach of floods and predators. I need to go and get some firewood. Easier coming up than down. My scavenging back on the skeleton coast is going to come in useful. I've got this rope that I found on the beach. I knew this would come in handy. I can use this to wrap around this bundle of wood and haul it up to that ledge. But it's not going to be long enough like this. But if I just unravel it, I should be able to make it, make it reach. I need to try and get this wood up to my camp and get a fire going as soon as I can. Because the sun is disappearing fast. OK, let's get a fire going. Sometimes this can be so easy, and sometimes it can be so hard. And it's always hardest at the end of the day, you know, when you're tired. Do you know what? I can't remember it taking so long. 30 foot up on a narrow ledge, is a nerve-wracking place to spend the night. It's about 2 a.m. in the morning. I'm just finding it hard to sleep, so I keep thinking I'm going to fall out of this little rock shelf I'm on about 30 foot above this river. Uh, but I've come up with a really clever solution. <laughs> that rope I used to haul all my logs, I've just tied it around my waist. Hopefully that's going to stop me falling off. And now I'm trying to get some sleep. Tomorrow, I've got to tackle the highest peak in Namibia. Out of the frying pan, into the fire. The treacherous Brandberg Mountain. Whew. I'm in the Namibian desert. I've spent the night 30 foot up a cliff on a narrow ledge, keeping out of the way of flash floods and predators. Morning guys, well not a bad night in the sense that I didn't fall off. My next challenge is to tackle the Brandberg Mountain, but before I head off, I'm going to have one of my more unusual breakfasts. You get animals here, things like the rock dassy, which is like a, like a kind of big guinea pig. And all of this stuff here is dassy droppings. The Bushmen actually used to take all this dassy poo and make tea. God only knows what this tea is going to taste like. As every Englishman knows, you've got to let a good cup of tea brew. OK, let's give this a try. Apparently, it's meant to be detoxifying and good for the kidneys. Working on the principle that things that are good for you generally taste pretty bad. This has got to be very, very healthy. 